Hello, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. I have toast. I have toast. All right, I didn't eat my breakfast yet, so I'm doing the show. Doing the show. She knows. <coughs> She's been red pilled. Okay. So. Here's uh, some of the research that I'm doing on the side, right, with, uh, uh, you'll see in so many ways, there's only so many ways I can do this research, right? So here's um, the information is, uh, okay, this is the ancient Craton of North America. So I don't want to uh, postulate as to what happened to the west coast of of uh, America here a lot of the maps are just fake um, it shows California as an island and then there's a proclamation in 1752 or something that California is an actual island they proclaimed it and then perhaps there was a landslide and it became the mangroves or whatever was there that you could have sailed around California filled it in <clears throat> so there is like a you know you just go with me on the on the verbatage on the verbal adage that they use okay there's a massive volcano right here so I know some don't even believe in volcanoes okay so I know I'm kind of uh, let's just say the uh, there's new evidence to suggest that they're not just volcanoes and yeah, so let's just leave it at that. So, anyway, <clears throat> along this ridge here, this is where you're going to find a lot of fires. Um, and this is straight off the Dutch Sense uh, channel. And uh, he doesn't want to kind of really come out and say it, but he has in the last few days that piezoelectric effect, as I discussed on this channel two years ago uh, creating a spark between two rocks essentially all this movement back and forth and all the perforations through here could be causing wildfires too um, it is definitely the season right so um, anyway what I did was I looked up the South American and the same I guess could be said uh, for part of it here um, that there would be lots and lots of fires over here so hopefully I can do this for you uh, I can don't usually do this because it takes so long lots of fires here <clears throat> in the plate tectonic world they're coming up butting up against each other okay in this uh, cone shaped world this would be flipped on its other side so the whole of the ice plate would be pushing up against one side and which would be here we can go to the bigger if you follow me if you followed that one that I did to you know a couple of weeks ago about the North America being flipped on its side then actually the ring of fire would just be the line of fire Anyway, XRP info, I guess. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, this is how much XRP you need to be, you need to have in order to be in the top 2%, 39,000 XRP. So a lot of people are right here between these two believe it or these two they're in the top 10 it's not that hard it's the new one percenters all right so i i put this on the john levy channel too because i'll show you in one sec here fort charlotte was not only used to defend against enemies from the sea most of the 30 cannons were aimed at the interior of the island against the caribbean inhabitants beautiful so amazing to know that this was once the formidable place for the people who tried to get our ancestors off this, off this land. And we are now in full control. 
was beautiful. Against the Caribbean inhabitants. Was not only used to defend against enemies from the sea, most of the 30 cannons were aimed at the interior of the island against the the Caribbean inhabitants. Most of the water cannons. Water. There are water cannons. Whoops. Um, why would you have them pointed over here? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> I mean, even at that height, you have a limited distance. You could hit anything. You couldn't hit anything from this, you know, even from here. Look at it. Look at this view. It's beautiful. You could be parked over there by these islands over here. Somewhere way out here. Not going to get hit by a cannon. It's not a cannon situation. Anyway. Uh, here we are playing with my phone again. So. Cannons with the cannonball. Cannonball could be. Like in a faucet, you have a little ball bearing that goes and then sits, covers, covers the hole, right? That's where the cannonballs come in and then they get worn out. They lose their seal, put them in the pile. Just cannons pointed at the island, not out to sea. But I think that what the real attraction here is What's below here? Are these like set up? They're not set up, right? Because this, why would you have the cannon so far back from the wall? Man, that thing moves just one degree and you're going to take your wall out. So these cannons used to sit up there. You know, if you look at the ground when you go over the cannon, you'll see they're supposed to be set up with uh, water. Here's my Bitcoin Bobby fucking thing. I, I guess I'm going to have to start over. I, it's too close to a couple of other channels and I don't want to set it too close to Bobby Bitcoin, Crypto Bobby, this is, you know, Bitcoin Bobby. So I'm just going to redo it. I'm going to take the whole channel down, uh, but I'll just leave it up there as, as in I won't go any further with this, but I think I'm going to do some sort of puppet show so I can discuss all this mayhem, not bug you guys about it. Some other channel when I have time, right? And there's just something that's kind of unavoidable. Like that's why I, on that Bitcoin Bobby channel, I put the uh, evidence for John Levy, you know, whatever. So that way, maybe that channel will get taken down if I get a copyright strike. <clears throat> so, two thousand, a thousand kilometers of the Ross ice fields. So it doesn't really add up, right? That's mostly the guy's point. Um, so that's all the negative press towards you know who. This is all just current event stuff again. Top performing brands, the most well trusted in government, has only seven percent which is 1% less than these guys. And I think they might just switch. They might be just 1% this way and 1% that way. Because like, even capitalism, Wall Street religious leaders. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty down that way. So, that's a pretty old list, I guess. Anyway, Spartan Red, Spartan Red Channel. <clears throat> Hello, hello. So he's saying maybe these are terracotta roofs that were melted, but, and I suggested that too, but on second, second thought, I got these off the Spartan Red channel. And he's, he works with uh, When the Buildings Cried. Now, two things. There's a chimney coming out, which throws it somewhat into Like this roof needs to be repointed for sure. And I'm not saying they're not brick, but <clears throat> they could be brick of a different sort, like longer, so that they could build these types of uh, roof tops. Oh, I'm just drawing your attention to the chimney. <clears throat> Steps. Now, here's the uh, 
same buildings from different angles okay but here we have a different sort of chimney it could be a chimney or just a rooftop thing this is definitely a chimney and then some of these top ball things are chimneys too but this is mostly what I'm going to draw your attention to right here so uh, <clears throat> it was built this way and I don't know why but I'm pretty sure that this is not like a melted terracotta roof like I suggested because of the steps here boom climb right up there'd be no need for that and unless that's a chimney like I was just about to show you like this one over here <clears throat> or any of them which I don't think that it is because it looks to be a sort of kind of chimney at the top maybe okay so I think these uh, bizarre Italian coastal ancient structures are were, were actually built like that. But it could be a brick, could be a long brick that they used, would make sense that they would lay them in such a way that they could overlap them this way yeah. so that they could get this layered pyramid effect. You'd need a long brick for that long bricks like sort of bigger ones but again like he's saying it's that he would start at the bottom okay maybe that that would make more sense for this uh, I, don't know. I don't know the top super unusual architecture right we must all admit and they would normally call this Moorish or something if because uh, of the location being so close to Africa Here, this one seems to have a sort of spout, maybe, okay? But he's definitely pointing out, like, the red brick, just stained orange stones, you know, that's uh, melted cobalt, or, or a carbon-14 got melted right out of the brick, and it popcorned out. Here's the opposite effect here. This is concrete that's just been inundated with water inundated it's soaked you can't even get it dry the only way you could probably maybe do it is uh when you pour this concrete you gotta blast it with heat which is gonna it's going to uh flash that's what they call flash the concrete and it's gonna it could turn a different color and it would have like maybe a bit more brittle but you could compensate for that with rebar and um, and then now they have this blue skin that I was working with 10 years ago blue skin blue skin everything that's what you got to do and this is my my big endorsement for blue skin look it up it's what the masons use they come in see the, all these cracks man all these cracks if, if this was in someone's basement okay so you'd have to open that crack up Okay, so you drill into it, bam, 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 all around the crack. Then you fill it with, well, it's a couple of ways, like maybe a deep penetrating uh, filler that's expanding filler that's not too, uh, doesn't expand too much because then you'll just push the stone out and there's blue skin, you can use cement, you can take the whole brick out, put a new brick you know, or stone in. But sometimes you gotta put in three or four if you do that. Uh, but mostly you gotta blow out a bigger hole and then fill it. Sometimes with a huge spike. In this case, I don't know. This is at maximum capacity. It's the Three Gorges Dam. And uh, they can't get rid of that water fast enough. So it's just. Uh, this was a screenshot that I went, whoa, bing, 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 back, back, back. They're talking about the dam, like displacing, but it's the dam. Say if this was the dam with all its uh, fingers and all its water coming out like this. It was built like so, but now it's actually more like this. Or perhaps like this or whatever. It's kind of slightly broken. And this is the top of it. And even the Dutch sense thing, you know, like I've been following those earthquakes with him for years. If you stockpile 
too much water in one spot that's not an ocean, it causes an earthquake. It's, I don't know, it just, it just does. And that's why the Chinese have turned off the earthquake notifications and they never get earthquakes now. So let's just see how much time I have. I actually don't have that much, uh, I don't have that many uh, images, so we'll continue. Should be about 25 maybe, 20 minute, 25 minute video. So, <clears throat> All these ducks aren't in a line anymore. Super big problem. Here I'm pointing that out. This doesn't look right. I don't know, they probably wouldn't even risk. I don't know if people even get up here, but down here, all the, if this was tile or something, I don't know what they're doing there. Maybe stone, cement stones that they put on top. It looks to be like uh, ladders going up, maybe to get up there because they all seem to have this like little sort of ladder going on. So every second one, <clears throat> I don't know why they would do it up every second one. Maybe the ladders on the other side, say like this one doesn't have a black mark on it. Anyway, Here's just commenting on the crowd size. <clears throat> not a big crowd, and they try not to show it, but here you got angles from above so that you get all these faces watching him. But then if you zoom out, <laughs> 60s, right? Look at these folks. <laughs> I just, I don't know, people just don't look like that anymore, I find out. What is it about that? So this is supposed to be true. Federal Reserve Banks will provide digital wallets for all residents and citizens of the United States starting January 1st, 2021. That's where I got the info, well, from uh, someone else. And then, so anyway, here's one for you. And then this was the autodidactic channel And uh, really good show on the pyramids. It was about an hour long. Okay, so I stole some of your images here. Colin, is it? Campbell? Campbell from Autodidactic. Anyway, he's saying maybe the pyramids were water filtration, desalinization plant. This guy did a whole bunch of these types of... Uh, this is how they do it. So you notice the angle that these pipes are going in. That's so you can put compost in one end and then so you put organic material in this end. So it creates fresh water that comes pouring out the top of the pyramid. Okay, that's why there's three pyramids, like two almost the same, but then one smaller one. The smaller one would have the fresh water and then that's why they were saying the Sphinx had water all around it because it would be like fresh water just flowing like a river. Okay, so all the biodegradable stuff would push down, push down, and all that stuff would get pushed. Like the pyramids have like usually a river below them or infrastructure that goes below. Really worth checking out this one, definitely. Okay, so here's how it works. And then it would also create electricity. Okay, so you go walking up this hill. You dump your stuff in here. The water will be kind of gushing in and out or fill up from this side because there's fresh water on this side, like a canal a moat around it. So maybe the moat was the fresh water that they're creating out of the pyramids or it is in this case, here's the moat. And if you look at the uh, pyramid, this wall is gone here, but you can still see the line. Okay, so you put your, this is the fresh water here, and then where is it? 
Okay, so anyway, look into it. Really super. I'm convinced this is what this is. This is what we're looking at. That's why there's five or ten in, in any location, you know, because they're... Anyway, so pyramid, fire within. Fire within. So you'd have the sarcophagus, sort of something like a lodestone situation with magnetic properties and the Ark of the Covenant type situation and then there would be like spark between and then the water would go through this uh, purification process. It's ionization, reverse, reverse ionization. Uh, pretty interesting. Now, this wouldn't necessarily be true in the cone-shaped world because North America would be all like flipped on this and going this way. So, there's a nice shot of the pyramid. I'm not sure if he fixed that up or what, but um, you can sort of see the line around the pyramid where there would have been a moat of some sort. <clears throat> Maybe not on this exact shot, but. So if you put your waste in here, it would go down, all the stuff would float to the bottom, and then the gas would push everything up, right? Methane gas. To this point, it would go through into the large chamber where it would be separated again. Gas would expel from this one where the water would trickle down into the next one, and then you're just on and on. Fascinating. Fascinating number one. I am not a number. Licensed to kill. <laughs> Losing it. So, so these are some of his images. This and so. Can you explain this to me? Why this is considered true? Okay, so the, like there's a number, a penumbra, and when light goes passing through, it actually makes a cone. And so there's only three, three a mile. You can only see it three mile wide on the Earth in the globe model. Three miles. That's how big the moon is. Because this can't be true. It's not. And we prove it every day. Unless there's two suns getting two sources of light, you get this kind of double double effect, sure. But in all reality, this is true. If you have one light source, one shadow exactly the same size should be whatever they say the fucking moon is 125,000 kilometers across from it. It's not, it's, it's only three, and that's what they say. So, anyway, we're looking into it. There is this X. I took this picture. This is not an X, this is like an upside down. I was trying to find it. And I thought it was Hebrew, upside down Y, almost like an X. Okay, so that would spell, and the R is larger than the rest of them. So this would be a royal, some Hebrew thing for all, royal for all drugstore. Now this would go hand in hand with the uh, reflection theory in the cone that Saturn has rings, that there, you would need to have a comet hit within a comet hit, like a ring within a ring for that reflection, for us to see the reflection against the thing. So this is why Mount Kilimanjaro has these telltale rings on the inside of this volcano. A ring within a ring and it might be another ring in there I don't know and uh, this is from 1933 I think when Hemingway flew over it or someone was speaking of Hemingway so I'd like to go check this out I guess this is the next show Mount Kilimanjaro I'm not sure if it lines up with the uh, Saturn projection theory here's the thinking you can check out right here 30 minutes I think that's it, guys. Yeah.
That's it. All right, hang in there. You know, you choose a side, then that means, you know, like you got to defend that side. But if you're in the middle, you can kill them all. So, you know, don't believe the hype and all that. I'm just saying it's all fucking, it's not, it, it is all conspiracy in it. They're leading us, they're leading us down the path. So it's hard for me to believe anything. You follow? So no matter who says it. Take care.